للسياسات uh, basically للفيجوال ديزاين للاب تاعك لليو اكس ديزاين للانتراكشن ديزاين للاب تاعك اللي هي الماتيريال ديزاين وسبيسيفيكلي الانجلر امبلمنتيشن للماتيريال ديزاين هذا اللينك اي ثينك للبرزنتيشن ام نوت شور اف اتس بابليك بات يو كان اف يو ونت فولو اب وذ ات I am Mohamed Fadikom, and I already told, uh, told you you already know who I am. Uh, so moving on. Um, شو الماتيريال ديزاين؟ بيسكلي السبكس اللي عملوها جوجل جديد اطلعوها السنه اللي فاتت بالجوجل اي او عن كيف الديزاين بشكل عام لازم يكون بالمودرن وولد بتاعت الموبايل اكروس اكشلي سكرينز سو بتقدر تشوف السبكس كامله على جوجل دوت كوم سلاش ديزاين بتقدر تشوف الكلر باليتس وكيف الانتراكشنز انيميشنز وهذه الاشياء والبتنز ستايلز الوايت فريمينج وهذا الاشياء. This is a small video. I'm gonna play and while talking. So basically, a lot of, okay, there's voice, <laughs> sorry. Um, so basically you can see it's actually, that's why they call it material. It's actually, you can feel it. It's kind of paper-like, um, a lot of animations, a lot of interactivity, um, mobile at skills to a bigger screen, tablet and landscape and, and then desktop. Um, so, yeah. Very snappy, very very cool interaction designs. You can see like ripple effect. Let me take that picture. It opens up. All right, a great view at home. This is like how a map version of Google um, Google Maps uh, would look like with material design. Um, cool. So um, there is a lot of implementations of material design. Fi ktir kul kul framework hala am bamelo implementation of material design. So is fi bootstrap, for example, the hack on her materialized css dot com. I think dot com, right? dot com. تقدر تشوف مثلا هذه البوتستراب اذا حابين تستخدموا البوتستراب فريم ورك بس حابين كل هذا الانتراكشن ديزاين يكون موجود تقدر تستخدموا ماتيريالايز سي اس اس. في امبلمنتيشن بالبوليمر which is Russia is going to talk about next uh, بعدي um, عاملين برضه شيء اسمه بيبر فريم ورك البيبر اللي هو الماتيريال ديزاين امبلمنتيشن بالبوليمر um, انا حاحكي عن الان جي ماتيريال تقدر تو اكسس الدوكيومنتيشن والديموز تاعونها على material.angularjs.org um, so yeah um, Okay, so um, I'm gonna actually the presentation is gonna be quick, and then I'm gonna dig into code and write code in front of you. Um, so uh, we're gonna build a chat room, and we're gonna I'm gonna actually just build the visual design of that. Um, I'm not gonna implement uh, any functionality. Uh, Russia talk the last talk I think uh, about Firebase uh, is gonna take this implementation and hook it up to Firebase, a backend service, uh, to actually get it to work, so you can actually try chat and see the messages coming along. And real in real time, uh, but in, in this demo we're gonna just build the UI. Um, all right. So basically, I will tell you you want to use uh, material design. They give you like these guidelines, and the first is basically to sketch layout um, with components. This is a quick sketch of what I imagine my application would look like. Um, so basically, there is like a list of who's in the chat room, and then. Um, Um, yeah, the chat messages and nested messages replies to these chat messages and then like the field that you type in um, and the search field to filter these people. All right. Um, the second step is uh, to load the dependencies that your application uh, rely on. Zayi matalan, I'm using Angular, right? Ang material is built on Angular. And Angular, so we're gonna load um, Angular JS, of course. We're gonna load ng material. Uh, we're gonna load ng animate, which is a dependency la material uh, design. So it's um, you can use it without it, but it it depends on it. Uh, there's also ng aria for accessibility. There's I think some other stuff. Um, I'm also get, uh, another thing is actually use a mock data. So um, there's a lot of libraries that can help you with that. I'm gonna use something called Faker.js. It's on GitHub. You can check it out. Um, basically, the idea is that you just tell me what you want with the picture, the user, with the name, and with the, for example, text, and it gives you this thing that you generate randomly from the web, from Twitter, from this, and it gives you them. So I don't have to go and add images to put in the UI. So we're gonna use that. I'm gonna have snippets of code already jahza, but uh, I could I could look uh, quickly go through it. 
Uh, the next step is actually connecting the UI with the logic tag. Uh, the only piece of logic that I'm going to build, other than a faker kind of data, um, is um, using an MD side nav services service. Um, so this is, you know, you're going to see MD here. They will NG, for example, Angular. The MD, what? Material design. Awesome. So uh, this is a namespace they use it um, to avoid conflicting uh, other libraries. Um, all right. Um, cool. Yeah, the, the only thing I'm going to do is like the button that is going to open and close the site nav. That's the only logic I'm going to write. Uh, Russia is going to take it from there. All right. Uh, the, the last step of making, like, you're finishing your application is actually making it responsive. Um, you could do it actually iteratively. Is a, is a, انت هلا عملت سايد ناب بدك تخليها تختفي لما يكون الويندوز صغيرة uh, وتكون موجودة باي ديفولت مفتوحة. Uh, بتقدر تعمل الشيء هذا iteratively بس um, uh, you could also like uh, at last step تأكد إنه بيشتغل على كل ال على كل السايزز. بالأنج بالماتيريال ديزاين عندهم um, specs معين الأحجام الموجودة. So عندهم large uh, عندهم medium عندهم uh, small. I believe so. Small is going to be. Uh, oh, uh, actually, you're going to see issues like this. For larger than uh, medium and larger than small. Um, and basically, this is for example, to talk to the material, the angular to apply شغلة معينة. لما هذا لما if it was a larger than medium for example so we're gonna use that all right the material components اللي هنستخدمهم of course material um, if is if تفتحوا material at angularjs.org هتشوفوا كل components اللي available um, اللي هنستخدمه I believe these and maybe some more um, actually I'll walk because I have them here so uh, the MD side nav is this this dude that comes in and goes out when you click uh, the button head. So this is this is called MD sign nav, and we're gonna use um, an attribute MD is locked open. عشان خليها مفتوحة لما يتحقق شرط معين. Basically, لما يكون الشاشة كبيرة. وحن حنعطيها component ID uh, MD dash component dash ID عشان to refer to it بالJavaScript لما بدنا نسكرها ونفتحها. Um, هنستخدم برضو MD toolbar. This is like examples on toolbar. Um, they have classes عشان تعملها tall or or just short to the Leaf buttons or inputs or something like and then we're gonna use um, MD list to show list at users or list at chats as well. Or it takes MD list item, um, and then we're gonna use, of course, the input. Um, this is like an example of material design input, and the buttons, the MD button. Uh, we're gonna use the little icon as well. So this is actually an external library. It's not an, like someone built it. So I'm gonna load it. I should use uh, icons already jazzy. Um And we're gonna use like probably two types of buttons, the icon or the idea. All right, I'm gonna start coding. If you don't have a question, hello, I can just start. Cool, all right. Uh, let me fix this up. Hello? Hello, hello. Yeah. Just in. Uh, uh, you're gonna see. Uh, should I jump like this? Okay, let me just do it like this. Um, all right. I'm gonna be using a uh, structure I already created. Um, using Yeoman. Faris Farjakum Yeoman. It's like it's awesome. It generates all of this. Uh, and I'm just gonna show you what's in there. So, um, I, I only have two. So I created, uh, a script, a script directory. I created, um, a components directory. This is, this is the new kind of, uh, way of breaking your application instead of just controllers of views or have a sheet. Uh, if, if you develop Rails or frameworks, so the new suggestion is actually breaking it, um, uh, per component. Say here. So I'm, I'm going to have a component called room. It has a controller, it has a directive, and it has a um, view taha, let's say. Um, that's the sheep users less. We're going to hear last side heavy. I put in a controller, directive, or HTML. Uh, we have app to JS. We have index HTML. We have a, a, a small CSS file, uh, which, with some styles. Uh, all right. We'll be in the whole setup telegram. So I haven't done anything, uh, special there. Uh, let's look actually at app to js so basically hana i'm i'm making my app right so i'm telling it to add a group chatter app so بحكي لها شو بدي استخدم so هذول الديبندنسيز تاع الابلكيشن تاعي فبدي استخدم شيء اسمه انجي ماتيريال اللي هو اللايف بتاع ماتيريال ديزاين 
انجي انيمي انجي اي اللي هم هذول زي بنسز انجي ميتيريال والانجي ام دي ايكون وتش از اللايبرري اللي حكيت لكم عن الاكسترنال حدا عملها و اي جاست داونلود ات يوزنج باور وانكلود ات هير اوف كورس يو هاف تو انكلود ذيم اولسو بالاندكس از از الفونت مبين ازغره واكبره او اكشلي انا نسيت شغله المايك كان ذكرتوني اوف كورس يو هاف تو لود الديبندنسيز تاون اللي هم كل اللي بدخل هذا الفايل سو so هنا مثلا هاي الانجلر ماتيريال فايل السي اس اس عشان يعمل لي الستايلنج تاعه وهذا ماي اون سي اس اس اللي لي uh, تحت في عندي let me actually zoom out a little bit is it still fine صغير اوكي ام جونا ميك ات لارجر بس بهذا هلا عشان افرجيكم هنا برضه الديبندنسيز الخارجيه انجلر جي اس عم بعمل له لود انيميت راوت تاتش اريا ماتيريال انجلر ماتيريال انجلر ماتيريال ايكون ايكونز ذيز ار اكشلي فور ذا اذر توك فاير بيز والانجلر فاير راشا ستوك سو سي جست كان توك ابوت ات فيكر دو جي اس اي تولد يو ابوت ات And then our our own scripts, right? Like we're gonna write these um, controller directives. Um, we we need to load them. All right. Um, oh, let's keep it open. Sorry. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm, I already initialized and I told it what's my app here, right? I'll zoom in a little bit. Main highlight, right? Um, so we have it already knows my app. Uh, and I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start coding here. So I'm, I need uh, an MD side nav. Uh, and actually, let me run the server as well. Run serve. So this would run a local Node.js Express server, um, just for you to view the head. Uh, currently, it's empty. If you look at, if you refresh, it's, it'll load all your dependencies. But it's currently empty. Um, awesome. So let's add some stuff. So I, I want to add the MD side nav. Uh, I'm gonna give it a, a, a we call uh, a component ID, which is gonna be called left. I'm gonna give it um, uh, is actually sorry uh, is open locked or is it is locked open? Uh, so the, uh, you can of course you can go to the documentation and I actually will open it for you. Um, so we can refer to it. So the documentation is like kind of awesome. It's still actually point nine, I believe. Yes, point nine here. Uh, so my guess is in 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 IO this year they're gonna probably be at at one point oh. Um, this is for Angular material, not Angular. So you can you can look uh, at the demos at the documentation. So for example, we're using a side nav. Let me show you. Side nav documentation. So it has like it, it zoom out a little bit. Oh, it zooms in. Oh, okay. So it has MD is open and MD is locked open, and we're gonna use that which is I already typed. When let me type an expression here: MD media uh, larger than medium. I I showed you this. So the MD media is actually um. It's actually uh, a service from um, from Angular that is in, uh, sorry from Material that is already injected um, for me to use in the view. So if I do this, um, let's refresh. Let's see did something happen. No. Uh, let's add a class with MD white frame with two. So this is added a shadow. Do you notice that? Like there is something that it's but it goes away for some reason. Can anybody guess why it goes away? But why does it go away? Is my screen is too small, so I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. Oh, no, that's not it. Let's see. Uh, let's see what's going on. So it's adding MD closed. MD is locked open. MD media larger than MD. Uh, maybe I'm using the wrong. Oh, here you go. Sorry. So it's greater than. Sorry, GT. Not see. Okay. Let's try. Okay, here we go. هلا صار موجودة خلينا نعمل. So if if it, uh, my screen resolution is small, so I'm gonna zoom out a little bit to make it just think I'm on a large screen. So you can see um, we have a side nav. Uh, okay, it's just it's just it's just a shadow. There you go. <laughs> All right, let's add stuff to it. Uh, so I'm gonna actually just add a directive here, um, which is gonna be the uh, user users last. Um, and I'm, I use GC, 
because I'm calling the app group uh, chatter. Um, so I use, I use GC for, uh, for namespace, my namespace. All right. Uh, and then I'm gonna, for the main content, I'm also gonna do, um, GC dash, um, uh, room, I think I called it. So, so yeah, this will include our room directive and our users less directive. Let's see actually if we actually have something in the directive. Uh, so you can see the room directive file. So I'm now in the room directive file. Um, I, um, I can tell it here what to render, right? Uh, but let's see if room HTML has something. Hello, room.html. Just add something. And hello, um, users less. Just to see if it's rendering anything. Um, and close this. Okay. Um, so it's not going to render anything. In the definition, we haven't, we don't have it here. Let's write it. I, I told you about template URL, the definition tab directive. And it's going to be scripts, I believe, components, um, room and room.html. And then, uh, let's stop here, actually. Let's see. Um, uh, refresh. Okay. See? So we have the directive is actually loaded and it's printing whatever it's in HTML. Um, I'm also going to actually give it a controller, right? Oops. Sorry. Controller. And my controller is going to be, um, the room controller. And we also, um, where else can do we want to give it? Uh, scope no. Okay. Let's, sure. Let's, let's continue with this. Um, let's go to the room controller and see what is in there. So this is, um, so I, I'm creating a room controller, right? On my module and I'm injecting scope, right? Um, this is the fake data that I told you about. So this is, I'm not going to talk a lot about it, but it's basically doing a loop a number of times and it's just generating fake data. This is how I use it. Faker dot name dot find name. This is going to generate a random name or a, a random avatar image and all that. Uh, I'm going to hide this. Um, and you're going to just assume generate activity is going to return a list of number of, um, chat messages. All right. And, uh, just, uh, you, you need to understand the, the structure of the messages, which is going to have user and the user can have name and avatar, the message and when, uh, which is like uh, the time. Um, and I'm storing the, these activities, the random activities on a scope a variable called activities, right? Uh, so now I can access activities in my HTML. Let's try accessing it. Uh, we want to go to room HTML and let's try looping over it. Um, in order for me to do that, I'm going to use MD list, which is material design list and it takes MD list item. So this is basically, you can imagine it as a UL and a lie, but with more customization. So for example, I can do image here and give it ng source, uh, of, oh, sorry, let me, uh, sorry, uh, before that, I, I need to repeat this many times, right? Because we're going to, uh, print these items out. So I'm going to ng repeat, um, activity. This is my local variable in what is the name of the scope variable we created activities. Activities, I think. Let me know if I spelled it wrong. Did I spell it wrong? Activities. Okay. Better? Yeah? Okay. Let's assume it's, it's correct. We'll see. Um, so I can, uh, actually do an image here and tell it an MD source and give it class MD avatar. And we, like, we, actually, let me not give it that so you can see how it outputs it first. Um, and then I can say activity dot, how do I exit the user? The user, the avatar, right? We, like you saw the next thing we did. All right. Let's see if this do anything. Okay. It's doing something, but it's wrong. Let's inspect why there is no images. Do I not have internet? Um, uh, no. Okay. So sorry. I actually didn't output it. Right. So I need this expression to output it. It's expecting an, uh, like an angular expression. Let's refresh again. All right. Images, right? So now we have like these fake uh, users avatars. Let's use the MD cl avatar class. It should reload by itself. Whoa, look at that. Much better, right? All right, let's continue. <laughs> uh, let's continue. Uh, I'm going to create a dev and in that dev, I'm going to, let's see, uh, we need a name. Uh, we need to add the name, the time of the message because we are rendering the messages and the message itself. So, uh, let's just create an H, I don't know, six, five for the name, uh, output, uh, activity dot user dot name, right? Uh, because we're still in the loop. Wow. I am already 20 minutes over. 
Okay, I'm gonna do this very quickly. I'm gonna take from Q and A. So sorry. Um, and then I'm gonna do in here actually as well. Uh, activity dot user dot, sorry dot mm, dot win, and I'm gonna use date, which is the filter that Faris showed you. Uh, me medium. I'm gonna use. I think medium. I think. Um, then I'm gonna output the message in a p. Um, activity dot message. Suresh. All right, right. So we have the time, the and all that. Uh, cool. What next? Uh, there's actually a problem. If you see the the image is squashed, um, and the reason is we need to use layouts um, to make it better. And the way we do that, let's see. So this is also material design uh, attributes. So there's layout. You can actually specify if it's a row or a column. Uh, this is going to be a row because I need the image in, next to the other stuff. And we're going to do, uh, oops, sorry. Let's refresh and see. Still squashed. Uh, we need to tell the dev to take the rest of the screen. Flex. I'm going to explain this. Okay. Now it's better. Did you, did you notice the problem? So now the images are not squashed. Uh, flex is, uh, is actually based on uh, the CSS3 flex box. Um, which is, if you, if you look it up, it's, it's an awesome uh, new kind of display mo mod for uh, the box model. Uh, and what this does is actually tell, um, tell this dev is to take the rest of the screen. Don't like be greedy or don't, uh, so give whatever, whoever uh, you're sharing this layout with, whatever th what they want and take the rest. Um, so that fixed, um, the messages. Um, I think, uh, well, let me add actually a toolbar and I'll stop there. Um, MD toolbar, I'm going to add it actually below because I want to add the field there. So I'm going to create an MD toolbar and then uh, a dev, oops, uh, with a class. This is also material design, uh, MD toolbar tools. Let's save, let's see if it creates anything. Nothing. Let's see. Hello. Uh, nothing. Um, let's see why. Oh, um, let me put this. So the, the toolbar is actually one of the things you're going to uh, learn is the toolbar works well with MD content. Uh, it, it actually hooks them uh, up with a scroller. So it knows, um, the scroller itself. Did I, am I doing something wrong? Let's see. Mm, okay. This is working, but I need to put it here and then say for the content, let's try flex. Mm, oh, um, yes. We need to do something. Uh, let's see. In index.html, we want to tell the room. To lay out fill, uh, refresh, no, uh, flex, no, flex, what can I take now? Uh, okay, I, I'm, I'm gonna, it's fine. Um, I'm gonna make it up there. I'm not sure what's, uh, what's the problem. I'm pretty sure I'm missing something. I'm gonna put here actually MD, MD input container, which is another I showed you in the slide. And we're gonna say input, we're gonna use a normal import. Oops. Uh, ah. Um, and placeholder type a message. Right? Oh. Uh, all right. So now we have a text import. You could just type anything. Of course, we can style it to be colored uh, correctly. And you can tell it actually to lay out fill. So it takes the whole thing. I'm gonna stop here. Yeah, sorry. Uh, so this is basically what uh, the end result is gonna. I, sh I did I share the end result? Um, uh, go, uh, no, Palestine. Yes. Oh, uh, it's fine. This we replaced it with the other one, but this was supposed to be the end result. Load, load, load. Come on. Okay. So this is like the chat messages. This is the, where the message appears, and this is like the room. And you can I used filter which. Uh, uh, he showed to filter these. Okay, thank you. <laughs> uh, do you want your laptop? Oops. Do you need the other screen? No, I just want to. Okay. If you do the shadow dom in the web components, you have to specifically tell it that I want to use this web component. I want shadow dom in it, and I want to know the markup and the things I want to use. In the polymer. 
every web component has its own shadow DOM, so you don't have to worry about it. You just render the actual DOM. The JavaScript the transfer will be fast, but the re-render the actual DOM is the worst thing that is in the browser. So React.js what do you do? عمله شيء اسمه الفيرتشوال دوم هو في النهايه ببساطه جافا سكريبت اوبجكتس 